A parish councillor in the UK got a police visit and was threatened with arrest. Why? For sharing a Facebook post that said, quote, trans rights are boring. No, this is not the Babylon Bee. Parish councillor for Surrey Heath, Andrew Wilgoth, posted this image which showed trans campaigners with an altered sign that read, trans rights are very boring. We love TERFs. TERFs, otherwise known as trans-exclusionary radical feminists, is a pejorative for people who still believe that women should have their own protected spaces. Oh my god, how dare they? The post was so mundane that not even Facebook, which deletes historical quotes and Bible passages, sought to censor it. But after some bedwetting hall monitor working for Surrey Heath Council reported Wilgos to the police, Two cops showed up at his house. Oh no, someone made fun of the message. Arrest them quick. The idiotic thought police told Will Goss to attend an interview at the station the next day or he'd be arrested. The dastardly thought criminal was facing a public order offence and six months in prison, but wisely refused to dignify the farce with any degree of credibility and refused to show up for the interview. Police subsequently dropped the issue after presumably someone with a scintilla of common sense looked into the matter. It's just thought policing. The police are supposed to be protecting us from harm, not bothering people at home over trivial things, said Wilgos. They have no justification for harassing me at home and no jurisdiction over what I can share on an online platform owned by a US corporation. Facebook don't even seem to think the post was against their guidelines, so what is the problem about expressing a view? If this was some random one-off incident, then it would be comical. But such scenarios are commonplace in the UK. We previously highlighted the case of a 50-year-old mother in Scotland who was charged with a transphobic hate crime and faced up to two years in prison after she retweeted an image of a suffragette ribbon. After contacting his employers, Humberside police interrogated a man and told him to, quote, check his thinking after he retweeted a limerick that offended a transgender person. Harry Miller recently won a court of appeals verdict to have the non-crime hate incident overturned. Under the banner of so-called hate incidents, police are obliged to investigate if any protected group claims that they were offended. A law that is naturally routinely abused by bedwetters in said protected groups. Who think that saying women have a right to their own spaces is some kind of vicious hate crime. It isn't. And there's enough serious crime for police to deal with, but they seem increasingly more interested in just harassing the general public for making a mockery of the regime and its messaging. Being offensive is an offence! No it isn't, it's the lifeblood of free speech and a healthy society. So please stop intimidating people over harmless satirical Facebook posts and catch some real criminals. <laughs>